Hello everyone, this is Kiran here. Here we are into the next video of loop concept. So next question is, how does an infinite loop occurs and how can it be avoided? Very simple question. Sometimes we do mistakes. Let's say while and if you put some condition over here and now it remains true indefinitely, then this loop keep executing. Your system may get hanged, memory will get, uh, memory shortage will be there and due to that your system will get hanged and may get terminated. So this is not a good thing to do. But if you are writing some schedulers, then some people run this while loop infinitely. We don't need to take care of then whether it will be uh, blocking your system or not. Put some condition over here and then in case of for loop, in case of for loop, if you just write like this, don't put any condition here, means it runs infinite times. Very simple, guys. Now, question also asking us how you can avoid this. So, very simple, I would say, answer is put some condition over here. Put some condition over here, which is stopping you from running infinitely which is stopping you from running it infinitely. Otherwise, it will keep on executing a code. Next question. Explain the concept of nested loop in Java. Explain the concept of nested loop in Java. Means what? See, in Java, you can have, you can have multiple for loops also. Some conditions, something will be here. Now, what happens here? This for loop start executing once, and then this for loop will get finished. Then again, this for loop will start for second number, and again this for loop will execute completely. I mean to say, here if i equal to zero, i less than 6 i plus plus and here j equal to 2 j less than 10 j plus plus then first it will print 0 that is not a problem but here 2 to 10 will get printed then again i will print 1 this one again 2 to 10 will get printed so output will be 0 2 to 10 then again 1 2 to 10 like that if you write here Try to understand one concept, guys. It's very important. If you write break, then everything will be vanished. It comes out of it. But if you write, if you write continue, then this for loop will get skipped. It's very simple. It skipped means it executes internally, but it continues, it continuously not doing anything. So that is the difference. Break means terminate everything. Continue means current loop. That's it. So this is one of the thing guys which is very important. What is the significance of the initialization, condition and iteration parts of for loop? I already told if you know iteration, how much you want to iterate, then i++ you can write, i equal to i plus 2 also you can write. If you want to have more detailed snap of it, I will explain it. Int i equal to 0, i less than 10, i plus plus, SOP. So, what will be the sequence here? Number 1, number 2, number 3, number 4, number 5, number 6, number 7, number 8, number 9. Try to understand. Means every time you remember, whenever you are going inside the for loop, this condition must be checked. No way other than that. You might have seen do while loop which I told earlier. It doesn't check condition for that do block. But here to reach out inside the for loop, condition must be checked. It's very simple, guys. Moving to next question. Next question, can you exit a for loop prematurely in Java? I already told, that is a break statement, yes. How do you iterate through the elements of multi-dimensional array using loops in Java? Yes, you can have, you can do that. You can do multidimensional means it will be like this int x 
and then something like this comma something like this some elements will be there some elements will be there this is multi-dimensional array now how to iterate it first iterate over this then iterate over this so two four conditions will be there two four conditions will be there like this you need to explain guys this is x dot length you will be putting condition here as a x dot length. just remember this very simple here the condition would be x dot length here x of i dot length very simple x dot i means this second for loop will be referring to this first is referring to complete this so it's very simple you can practice for these questions discuss the advantages and disadvantages of using a for loop or a while loop if you know how much to be incremented go with the for loop if you don't know go with the while loop you don't know what should be the initialization or on the basis of some condition you are doing that go for while loop but if you already know that i equal to 0 i equal to 6 starting from 6 then go with the for loop you have more flexibility in the while loop you can control the increment sometimes by 5 sometimes by 9 but in for loop you don't get that option there you need to specify inside for loop like how much you want to increment so this is uh, one aspect of telling difference between for loop and while loop so with this i am closing the chapter of uh, loops where we have discussed lot of interview questions lot of concept i tried to explain you i hope you will be remembering those and tracking the interviews which are coming in front of you thank you